Hi, I'm Aoife, I'm 18 and I'm a future maker. My name is Simona Duku, I'm a technical project manager in the back office team. So what do you do at Liberty Global? I'm uh, in charge of coordination and support for uh, my uh, team of um, engineers and developers in order to allow them to um, develop, um, test and deliver in time and quality their projects. And what's the most exciting thing about what you do? The multicultural and multinational environment um, that brings you in contact with a lot of different people from different countries and um, with different skills as well. So what is your project about? Uh, so my project's called Eye Opener and it aims to stop people falling asleep when they're driving, which like I said before is just such a big problem. And it works, it consists of a software and a hardware element. Uh, the hardware element consists of an infrared thermometer that monitors the driver's core body temperature and an Arduino that sends the data from the thermometer to an app on the driver's phone and the app is programmed with software that says if the driver's core body temperature drops by an amount that signifies they'll fall asleep in the next 20 to 30 minutes, it causes the driver's phone to emit a loud beeping noise to tell the driver they need to pull over and take a rest. But it's long enough before sleep actually occurs that the driver is in a danger to themselves or others in the road and that they also have time to find somewhere to pull over and take a rest. Mm -hmm. How did you start coding? Uh, well, I was really interested in maths at school and one of the teachers there thought that since I was so interested in maths, I should give coding a go. So I started going to my local Coder Dojo in Sligo every Saturday and I just got really, really interested in it. I just enjoyed programming so much. I loved being able to type something and being able to see what happens straight away. And I've been doing it ever since. So how come did you choose to, uh, to uh, create an application that is, has a social impact? Well, I just think that when technology is such an important part of our lives and it's, such a, it's so central to everything we do that it should really be used as much as possible to try to help other people and have like a really good social impact in whatever area that is. And then when I was doing my theory test for learning how to drive, I realised what a big problem drowsy driving was and it didn't seem to be tackled in the same way that let's say drunk rut driving was or driving without a seatbelt or big problems like that so I thought that if no one else was going to solve it I should try to so that's where that came from. Thank you very much for the pleasure.